Good morning, everybody. Today, we will continue our session about motion of a particle in a plane. The objectives of this session are define the position and the displacement vectors of a particle and then determine these vectors. Position vector R. The position vector is a vector that determines the position of a point M at any time t. It is a vector joining the point M with the origin O, where R equals OM equals Xi plus Yj, where X is the abscissa of M and Y is its ordinate at any time t. Since M is moving, then each time at each instant it has a certain position vector. For example, at t equals 0, R0 equals OM0 equals X0I plus Y0J. At t equals T1, R1 equals OM1 equals X1I plus Y1J. So, as it's obvious, the position vector has an origin O, a line of action joining O with M, and a direction from O to M. Regarding its magnitude, the magnitude of the position vector is calculated by radical x square plus y square, which is the distance between m and the origin of coordinates at any time t. Application The position vector of a moving point m in the OIJ coordinate system is r equals ti plus t square plus 1j. So for example, r1 equals 1i plus 2j. At t equals 2, r2 equals 2i plus 5j, and so on. The question is, determine the trajectory of the motion and the distance om at t equals 1 second. Regarding the trajectory of the motion, you have already studied it where we can determine the parametric equations x equals t and y equals t squared plus 1. Making some calculation, you get the formula y equals x squared plus 1, which is the equation of the trajectory. It is a parabola. Now, regarding the distance om, it is the norm of the vector r at t equals 1. So at t equals 1, the norm equals x squared at t equals 1 plus y squared at t equals 1. So it is 1 plus 4, uh, radical 1 plus 4 equals radical 5 meters. Displacement vector. As we have just said, r0 equals om0. It is the position vector of the point M at T0. And OM1 equals R1. It is the position vector of M at T1. Now, the vector joining M0, M1, which is M0, M1, is called the displacement vector, delta R. It is the vector joining the positions of the mobile between two given instants. So, what is the expression of delta R? It equals delta xi plus delta yj, where delta x equals the difference between the two abscissas, and delta y is the difference between the two ordinates. So, delta x equals x1 minus x0, and delta y equals y1 minus y0. Example, suppose that r1 equals 3i plus 5j and r2 equals 2i plus 6j. Delta r, the displacement vectors, 
equals delta x, which is 2 minus 3i, plus delta y, which is 6 minus 5j. So delta r equals minus 1i plus 1j. Kindly solve this application. It is about the position vector of m. You are asked to write the expression of the position vector of m and other points f, n, and c after determining their coordinates. And then you should calculate the distance d separating n from the origin o, which is in other words the norm of the vector o m. In application 2, you are given the position vector of a moving particle, r equals 2t one plus 1i plus 4t squared j. In this application, you are asked in part 1 to write the parametric equations of the motion of m, that is, x in terms of t and y in terms of t. Number 2, you are asked to write the expressions of the position vectors at t equals 0 and t equals 0 0.5. That is, first substitute t0 equals 0 in the equation of r, then you can get r0, and th then substitute t equals 0 0.5 seconds in its value in the expression of r, so that you can get r at t equals 0 0.5 seconds. Now, in part 3, you are asked to determine the, the expression of the distance d separating m from the origin o, which is the norm of the vector o m at any time t, which is radical x squared plus y squared. And then deduce d at t equals 1 second. So when you determine the expression of o m at any time t, you can substitute t by its value in the uh, expression you got. In part 4, you should prove that M passes by the point whose coordinates are 9 meters and 64 meters. And this is the end of the session. Thank you.